so today uh, this is the 17th session on relative velocity this is in continuation of the 16th session so today we will discuss one more one more uh, numerical problem involving rotating frames that is the relationship between uh, velocity of a point with respect to two frames m and f which are in mutual rotation and acceleration also of point p as seen from two frames m and f which are in mutual rotation fine so what I'll do first is that uh, uh, problem will be on rotating frame as I've said just now. Okay. So I just uh, first of all uh, write down the question. Okay. So question is this. Uh, see the question is this that uh, uh, we have a rotating wheel. Okay. Side view of a rotating wheel. This is the horizontal ground. This is the center of the wheel. Okay. Radius of the wheel is given to be 3 meter. Uh, center of the wheel moves rightward. It moves rightward say at a speed of, I just take a data. I just don't remember the data so I have seen this. Okay. So center of the wheel has a speed of 8 meter per second with respect to ground. And the acceleration of center of the wheel is 9 meter per second square. Both are with respect to ground. So this is uh, the wheel is rotating. Okay. Um, angular velocity of wheel is omega clockwise sense with respect to ground. And angular acceleration of wheel is beta that is also clockwise with respect to ground at the given instant. It is given that the angular velocity of the wheel is omega is omega is given to be 5 radian per second with respect to ground and angular acceleration beta of the wheel is say assumed to be say 7 radian per second square with respect to ground okay so they are again these two quantities are with respect to ground. Uh, one more thing, this is one of the spoke of the wheel. You understand what is a spoke? You have seen the wheel of a bicycle, no? there are spokes. So this is one of the spokes. So spoke is fixed in the wheel, it is fixed with respect to the wheel. Okay. Here we have an insect. Insect is here. Okay. So this is the insect. Uh, at the instant shown, the insect uh, will be denoted by P. Insect uh, is at a distance of say 2 meter from the center of the wheel. Okay. And the velocity of insect with respect to the wheel is in this way. Acceleration of the insect with respect to wheel is also in this direction. Uh, uh, instead of wheel, we write W. Okay. W wheel. wheel. W will mean wheel. Will, will be denoted by W. So an insect will be denoted by P. So it is given that VPW let us say 4 meter per second in this direction. And this spoke makes an angle of 60 degree with the rightward horizontal at the instant shown. And acceleration of uh, insect P with respect to the V suppose say that is say, 3 meter per second square. These two quantities are both with respect to wheel. Okay. And uh, this is the situation. So I think I have uh, uh, given all the details. Okay. Fine. So omega is 5, beta is 7. The uh, center of wheel has a speed of 8 meter per second rightward ground with respect to ground. And center of wheel has an acceler acceleration 9 meter per second square with respect to ground that is also in rightward direction. Angular velocity of wheel with respect to ground omega that is 5 radian per second clockwise sense. And angular acceleration beta of the wheel that is 7 radian per second square is also in clockwise sense. And this is the insect here which is being denoted by P. Insect is at a distance of 2 meter from the center of the wheel at that instant. And uh, its velocity with respect to wheel is this much and acceleration with respect to wheel is this much. Okay. So now our aim is that uh, we have to find VPG and APG. Huh? The coordinate system is also specified. Coordinate system is uh, say like this. Uh, 
x axis is uh, rightward this is the rightward x axis as usual as we take in most of the problems and this is the y axis in upward direction this is the coordinate system this is the point o okay so now we, our aim is to find our aim is to find vpg and uh, apg vpg and apg in ij notation Where i hat and j hat are respectively unit vectors along x and y direction. Fine. So i hat and j hat are the unit vectors along x and y direction. So we have to write vpg and apg in ij notation. And that is in vector notation. Fine. And this wheel is assumed to lie in the vertical xy plane. X axis is rightward, y axis is upward. And wheel is assumed to lie in the vertical xy plane. Okay. So now our aim is to find this quantity. Okay. So first of all, what we do is that uh, we have to see that this wheel rotates with respect to ground. So uh, we have to uh, see that uh, which frames are involved and which frames, uh, what formula we have to apply. That also we have to see. Okay. So the formula which we have to apply is this. I will write down the formula here. Okay. So the formula which we have to apply is that uh, this is the frame F. Huh? Okay. And this is the frame M. M rotates with respect to F. P is the moving point, capital A is the location of M, real or imaginary location of M, A to P is the vector is RPA, M rotates with respect to F, M has an angular velocity omega say, it also has an angular acceleration beta say, okay, it is in clockwise, so I will just show it in clockwise, okay, sense. okay. now the, you know, uh, we have to find VPF and v, v, APF. So the relevant formula which will apply, I'll write it down here. Okay, fine. I'll just want to see the data that I've given that, uh, because I want to remember. You know, that's why I'm just seeing the data. Four meter per second, three meter per second square, eight meter per second, nine meter per second square, sixty degree and uh, five radian per second clockwise, and uh, beta seven radian per second square anti-clockwise. That also clockwise with respect to ground. Okay, fine, fine. So now I'll uh, rub it. Okay. I'll rub this up so because the space is limited. So I'll rub it. Okay. So now what we have to do because the wheel rotates, so we have to involve the rotating frame formula. Okay, for velocity and acceleration. So rotating frame formula as has been discussed in the previous videos. I will write down that formula here, this is the frame F, huh? this is the frame M, M rotates with respect to F, say it has an angular velocity omega, it has an angular acceleration beta, P is a moving point, capital A is a location of M, real or imaginary location of M, uh, meaning of real and imaginary location I have fully discussed in the previous video, so there is no problem, you can, if you want you can go to the previous videos and see it, all has been discussed in the previous videos fully. And this uh, A to P is the vector from RPA, from A to P that is the vector RPA is there. So the frame we are rotating M rotates with respect to F. So we will write on the formula VPF is equal to VPM plus VAF plus omega cross RPA. This is the velocity relation. This has been fully derived, discussed in the previous videos. It has been fully derived also. And Axel, this is the relation involving velocities. The symbols have the usual meanings. Fine. And we also write down the acceleration relation. APF is equal to APM plus AAF plus beta cross RPA plus 2 omega cross VPM plus omega cross omega cross RPA. So this is the for relevant formulas which will be used. So I have written down the formulas also. Now in the given problem, instead of F, we have the ground frame. Okay. We should denote it by G. Instead of M, we have the wheel frame, the wheel. We should denote it by W. And instead of point P, we have the insect. Insect will be denoted by P. Insect being treated as a particle in view of its very small size. So insect will be denoted by P, M will be denoted by wheel. And F will be denoted by ground. Okay. And these two formulas we have to write down. Fine. These two formulas will be used, so I have written them. Okay. So these formulas we'll use. So now I'll rub this also. Fine. 
and all the relevant details I have given here. Okay. So I'll rub this also. Huh? Okay. So now I'll first uh, we have to find the velocity. So yes, sir, okay. Now we have to find the velocity of the insect with respect to ground in IJ notation. So I'll write down the relevant formula here. Instead of VPF, we write VPG. Barabar, that is equal to VPM. And instead of M, we write W. We'll plus VAF. Instead of A, A is some location of V. We'll, we'll just not define it. And instead of F, we have G. VAG. Plus omega cross RPA. Fine. This is the expression. So now I'll uh, redraw the diagram again. So this is the wheel. My wheel rolling on the ground. Uh, this is the center of the wheel. Okay. And this is the spoke. This is the horizontal. This side 60 degree angle. Insect is situated here. You see is the center of the wheel. This distance is given to be 2 meter. Fine. Now wheel rotates with respect to ground. So we have to define location capital A. So now in capital A can be any location which is fixed in the wheel. Okay, it can be a real location or imaginary location of the wheel. So capital A can be any location of the wheel, it is real or imaginary. So most convenient point will be to the, take the center C to be the point A because uh, details of motion of C are given in the problem. So it would best will be to take point C to be point A. Okay. So instead of A, we take C. So here instead of A, we will write C, VCG. Okay. So this formula now converts to like this. VPG is equal to VPM plus VCG plus omega cross RPA instead of A we take C and P is here insect so plus uh, RPC fine so now we have all we have to do is to uh, express these quantities in IJ notation and then we have to add them to get the VPG that's all it's very simple so now we have to first say VPM so VPM means uh, velocity of insect with respect to V that I have just now given, I have rubbed it, so I will return it here just to re remember the data. So that is uh, eight, 8 meter per second in rightward direction. Coordinate system is like this, as usual, which you take. Xi plane is the vertical plane, x axis rightward, uh, y axis is upward. Okay. So VPM is uh, just the velocity of uh, P with respect to this uh, wheel, VPM. So instead of VPM, we write here as uh, W. Fine. So W. As I've said just now, W means uh, V. So M, M will be denoted by W. So VPW is this. Now VPW is given to be 4 meter per second as you can see. So VPW is 4 meter per second in this. So we have to write down in IJ notation. So 4 is in this direction at an angle of 60 degree with a positive x-axis. So VPW will be 4 cos 60 degree. 4 cos 60 degree I hat plus 4 sin 60 degree j hat. In this direction unit vector is j, in this direction unit vector is i hat. So this will be written as 4 sin 60 degree j hat. And units will be meter per second. Fine. So this will be of 60, cos 60 degree will be 1 by 2, 4 by 2 will be 2, 2 i hat. So sin 60 degree will be root 3 by 2, so 4 root 3 by 2, in 2 root 3 j hat. Meter per second, okay. So this will become VPW. So one term we have found out. VCG we know. VCG is nothing but the velocity of center of the wheel with respect to ground. So that is given to be 8 meter per second in rightward direction. That is along x axis. So VCG will be 8 i meter per second. Okay. Now we have to know omega cross RPC. Fine. So now we have to know omega in vector form. Now, uh, sense of rotation of the wheel is given to be clockwise, as I showed, I showed it just now. So, vector omega will be magnitude of omega, which is uh, which is given to be five radians per second, and and unit vector along direction of omega. Now, see, omega has a clockwise sense. Sense of omega is clockwise. So, as per the right hand thumb rule, we take the right hand and fold the first four fingers along the sense of omega. Keeping the thumb straight, the thumb points inward, so that is along negative uh, x axis. So 
so unit vector along that direction will be minus k hat so omega will be written as 5 times minus k hat so this will be equal to minus 5 k hat meter per sorry radian per second this will be vector omega and rpc is the vector from c to p that is 2 meter so rpc will write in this way rpc will be uh, this is 2 meter 2 cos 60 degree i plus 2 sin 60 degree j we resolve this 2 meter along i and j as usual in vector theory so rpc will be written as 2 cos 60 degree i hat plus 2 sin 60 degree j hat now cos 60 degree becomes half to 2 into half becomes 1 so i hat and sin 60 degree becomes root 3 by 2 the 2 to cancel away so plus root 3 j hat okay so this becomes rpc now we evaluate this term omega cross rpc here so omega cross rpc becomes that will become uh, omega is minus 5k as i have written it here so minus 5k cross cross i hat plus j hat root 3 fine so this will become minus 5k cross i hat k hat cross i hat will become j hat unit vector along y axis so this will write as minus 5j hat and k cross j becomes uh, this will be minus 5 root 3 minus 5 root 3 k hat cross j hat k hat cross j hat fine and you know that k hat cross j hat will be minus i hat so this will become minus 5 j hat and minus i hat and minus 2 minus, two minus become plus so that will become plus 5 root 3 i hat so all terms have been fully evaluated now all we have to do is that we have to add these three terms to get dpg so one answer will be obtained fine so now i drop this formula okay so what formula we get for dpg dpg is nothing but the sum of these three terms so dpg will be written as dpw dpw is 2i plus 2 root 3j 2i plus 2 root 3j hat vcg becomes 8i vcg becomes how much 8i okay and omega cross rpc becomes minus 5j and uh, 5 root 3i minus 5j plus 5 root 3 i hat okay this becomes vpg so now we can collect the i, I terms we can take common ij common term we take simplify the mathematical notation and so this becomes 2 plus 8 plus 5 root 3 I for our coefficient of i is here, i is here, i is here, plus j hat and j hat we have one 2 root 3 here, 2 root 3 minus 5, okay, so this is one answer, this is in meter per second, this is one answer which we have already obtained, fine, so answer which you get is this, now I have this, okay, I just want to check whether all the calculations are correct, I just verify the calculations, 2i plus 2 root 3j, plus 8i plus 5 root 3i minus 5j so i becomes 2 plus 8 plus 5 root 3 and j hat becomes common 2 root 3 minus 5 okay so this is we have obtained vpg now one answer has been obtained so now i will draw all it all of it fine so mm, so now one answer has been obtained. Now what we have to do is that we have to find the uh, uh, acceleration of insect with respect to ground in IJ notation. So for that what we do that uh, we write down the acceleration formula. Okay. So I will write down the acceleration formula APF. Instead of APF we write APG. That is equal to APM. As I wrote the five formula for acceleration involving rotating frames, APG, APF is APG. APM, instead of APM, we write APW, acceleration of point P with respect to wheel W, plus AAF, instead of A, we take center of the wheel, that is the best to take, easiest from a calculation point of view. So, AC, instead of F, we write G, ACG, fine. Then we write down the term uh, beta cross RPA. Instead of A, we take C because point A has been taken to be C plus uh, uh, 2 omega cross VPM. Instead of VPM, we write VPW. 
प्लस ओमेगा क्रॉस ओमेगा क्रॉस आर पी ए आर पी सी ओके अब यू टू वैल्यूट ऑल दिस टर्म्स एंड देन वी गेट ए पी जी फाइन सो फर्स्ट वी राइट ऑन द टर्म ए पी डब्ल्यू ए पी डब्ल्यू मीनिंग वॉट एक्सोलेशन ऑफ पॉइंट पी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वील फाइन दैट इज ए पी डब्ल्यू और एक्सोलेशन ऑफ पॉइंट पी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वील हैजिन गिवेन टू बी थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर अलॉन्ग दिस डायरेक्शन स्पोक ओके सो टू नो ए पी डब्ल्यू वॉट वी हैव टू डू आई ड्रॉ दिस स्मॉल डायग्राम हेयर दिस इज सेंटर This is the spoke of the wheel. This is x-axis. Here P is here, two meter. This is sixty degree, and uh, acceleration of P is given to be three meter per second square in this direction. This is A P A P W. Fine. So now what we write? We write A P W. So I write A P W here. Okay. A P W. So magnitude of A P W is three meter per second square in this direction. And that makes an angle sixty degree with a positive x-axis. So this will be written as three uh, three cos sixty degree i plus three sine sixty degree j. So this will become three by two i hat three root three by two j hat. So this becomes a p w. One term has been evaluated. Fine. Now what this term A C G A C G A C G means acceleration of center of wheel with respect to ground that has been taken to be nine meter per second square along positive x direction as shown in the just now on the board before rubbing it. A C G becomes nine i. Fine. This becomes A C G. Now we have to know beta cross R P C. So beta cross R P C. Okay. Now beta is how much? Hmm. Beta is given to be seven radian per second square in clockwise sense, so vector beta will be seven times minus k hat because by right that right hand thumb rule, sense of beta is clockwise. We take the right hand, we fold the four fingers along the sense of beta, keeping the thumb inward, inward direction points along the direction of beta. In this case, inward direction is along negative z axis, so unit vector is minus k hat. So seven into minus k hat is beta to beta cross R P C. R P C is the vector from uh, C to P. Fine. That is the vector from C to P R P C. So that we have we wrote it just now also. I'll write it again. Two cos sixty degree I. Two cos sixty degree I hat plus two sine sixty degree J hat. So this becomes minus seven K hat cross two cos sixty degree becomes one. Two sine sixty degree becomes root three. Root three J hat. Fine. So this becomes. K hat cross I hat. If we evaluate it by distributive rule, K hat cross I hat becomes uh, J. This will be minus seven J hat, and K hat cross J hat becomes minus I, and minus minus plus, so plus seven root three I. So this term is beta cross R P C. Fine. So beta cross R P C becomes minus K cross I becomes J. So minus seven J hat, and K hat cross J hat becomes minus I. Two minuses become plus. So plus seven root three i. So we have evaluated this term also. Now we have to evaluate this term. Mm. We have to evaluate this term. Two omega cross b p w. I'll write down the lines here just to make it clear which portion of the board, which is what is written where and what is not written. We have to see that. Two omega cross b p w. Two omega cross b p w. Fine. Now two. Omega we know how much it is omega. Omega is given to be omega is given to be five radian per second clockwise sense. So it becomes minus five k as I mentioned it just now. Cross V P W. V P W means velocity of point P with respect to V. That is given to be four meter per second in this direction. So that will be equal to four cos sixty degree I hat plus four sine sixty degree J hat. So this will become minus ten k hat cross cos sixty degree becomes half. So four by two becomes two, and four sin sixty degree becomes two root three. So plus two root three j hat. Fine. So this, if we simplify, k hat cross i hat becomes j hat. This becomes minus twenty j hat, and k hat cross j hat becomes minus i hat. And one more minus here, two minuses being multiplied becomes plus. So this becomes twenty. 
root 3 i hat so this is the uh, 2 omega cos vpw fine so this is the term we have obtained this year okay fine now finally uh, we have to know the last term this one omega cross omega cross rpc omega cross omega cross rpc has to be known okay so i will rub it here okay Now write down the term omega cross omega cross RPC. So omega cross omega cross RPC. Right? Okay. So now omega cross RPC we have already evaluated in the calculation of VPG. This term. This term is nothing but omega cross VPG. So this becomes and this omega we write as uh, omega is uh, clockwise. Okay. 5 into minus k hat. 5 into minus k hat. This becomes omega. Okay. And this term we have already evaluated here, this term. This term is omega cross RPC. I hope it is clear to you. So into it becomes minus 5j hat plus 5 root 3 i hat. Okay. So evaluate it 5 into 5 becomes 25. 2 minuses become plus k hat cross j hat becomes minus i. So 3 minus it becomes minus so minus uh, 25 uh, i hat. Minus minus plus and k hat cross j hat becomes minus i hat. So 1 minus remains. And here we take uh, 5 into 5, 25 root 3. No minus 25 root 3. And k hat cross i hat becomes j hat. So all terms have been fully evaluated. C. All the terms have been evaluated. Fine. So now we write down the expression for APG. Okay. So not much space left here. So I will write it here. Okay. So APG will be equal to. Uh, APW which is 3i by 2 plus 3 root 3j by 2 3i by 2 plus 3 root 3 by 2j hat this becomes APG first term we have obtained okay next term is uh, this is APW fine APW plus ACG ACG is given to be 9i so 9i write in plus uh, plus beta cross RPC this much minus 7 root 3i minus 7j so this becomes 7 root 3i minus 7j so beta cross rpc also we have obtained plus 2 mega cross vpw this becomes 20 root 3i minus 20j okay last term and omega cross omega cross rpc which is found to be this much so this becomes minus 25i minus 25 root 3 j j hat so now we have obtained a pg also fine so now we'll rub all these terms i'll write it write the answer finally in this all the end of remaining data okay so final answer apg becomes i'll write it here I will write on the complete answer here. Okay. So APG becomes first is 3i by 2. So when we take i common and j common. So i hat 3 by 2 plus 9 plus 7 root 3 plus 20 root 3. And here also there is i minus 25. Plus j hat. So j hat is here. J hat is what? 3 root 3 by 2. Here also there is j hat minus 7. Then another j is here minus 20. And one j is here minus 25 root 3. This is the complete answer. Uh, now we simplify it slightly more. Uh, 9 minus 20 minus 16 plus 3 by 2 minus 29 by 2 huh? okay so this becomes 9 plus 1.5 10.5 this is minus 25 so it becomes uh, uh, minus 14.5 minus 29 by 2 plus 27 root 3 plus j hat huh? so j hat becomes uh, this becomes minus 27 
and this becomes minus 25 plus uh, 3 by 2 that becomes minus 20 uh, how much will that be mm, 1.5 25 minus 1.5 that becomes 23.5 now so minus 47 by 2 okay. so minus 47 by root 3 meter per second square this is the answer okay this is the final answer for APG and VPG we have already obtained okay so now APG becomes this much I had minus 29 by 2 I'll just recheck the calculations minus 16 plus 3.2 so minus 14.5 minus 29 by 2 plus 27 root 3 plus j hat becomes here this becomes minus 27 okay and here it becomes so minus 25 plus 1.5 that is minus uh, 25 minus 1.5 is 23.5 that is 47 by 2 right so this is the complete answer we have obtained so one answer here and previous answer also told okay so this is the complete problem i have solved it hopefully oh, i hope under you have understood it okay so see once you miss main is you have to know the formulas that's all formula should be known okay and you have to know to attempt few numericals of this type then you have this this portion of relative velocity will be fully cleared fine so now this is all about this today so this video i finished this, is, this was the 17th video on relative velocity okay i mean relative velocity there will be many videos will be made i can't uh, tell just before and i can't tell how many videos will come but if not less than i don't think less than 100 videos Definitely 100 video, 100 plus. I don't think it will be less than 100 video. I I don't think so. I'm not I'm going to count it. I haven't counted it yet. But if I since I'll take so many problems, I'll discuss so easily cross 100 video for relative velocity. There's no doubt. Fine. So this is all about today. So I'll upload this video. Okay, and uh, you can by accessing it, you can derive great advantage. Fine. So now we close it. All right.